Hello and welcome everybody back to the League of Anja to Many Warfare with Tropical 5 and in this episode we will focus definitely more on tourism so that we can get a steady income and that is definitely necessary. Ah, let's see, okay, we have... What? Balance? 97,000? Okay, that is what we entirely made. Now I wish I could see how much we are actually making in revenue per month for what, but... Again, communication is apparently not the best. Oh. Spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to act fast. Your diocese member has stumbled upon some minor problems at his university. It looks like after a night of hard studying, he stole the head from the uni uh, from the university patrol statue. Harris, the entire football team, drove the dean's car to the roof of a building and rolled it over before drinking all the water from the pool. Oh, and he was buck naked the whole time. How should we handle this? Hmm, should we pay to cover up the incidents or promote his heroic deeds in the news? Nah, we will pay for him. I mean, he is our son, so... Okay, here we are definitely making profit. <laughs> So, and how is our national park doing? Uh, not very good. Not very good, I see. Well, but for more tourism, what can we get there? I mean, we need definitely country hotels. Yeah, how about we build a country hotel right next to the park? Yeah, I think that will do the trick. And of course we need a road connection there. Also what we are also uh, what we are also going to need in the future are waste treatment plants because we have I here way so too much. Uh, again a rebel attack. We have 70% approval rating. So how is that my uh, how are all these issues even possible? Seriously. <sighs> Again, those rebel attacks are just annoying. They are not really adding to the gameplay by now. Simply because they happen too often. But hey, at least we are able to fend them off. So, let's see when we will get more stuff. By the way, we, yeah, right, we can get managers for public buildings. So... Yeah, here we definitely we will get a manager and here oh fear trips okay we don't need that really so and also here we will get no uh, say financial somehow or not really and autosave is happening okay. The USA has launched a new initiative called the Alliance for Progress. I was rooting for the Alliance for Pony, but that was overruled at the last second. Anyway, we can participate if we get into the good books of the Yankees. Objective, praise the USA in an embassy. Well, apparently we won't have any negative... Effects by Those that, so. Yankees sure know how to throw a party. 
Cigars, alcohol, anti-communist purges. This is the life. What would we want from them? Hmm, ten thousand dollars, or well, let's go with one free industry building. So now we are finally making a profit here. Enough tourists have arrived. Huge way, President. And it's coming straight for us. <sighs> Why is stuff happening so often? Let's see if we just why. Thorough testing to identify the preferences of those strange species inhabiting foreign countries and found out some amazing facts. Did you know how to entertain a foreigner for an entire day? Put him in a round room and tell him there's a croissant in the corner. <laughs> the valuable information we have collected will allow us to communicate with these simple-minded creatures. We're alive, Presidente. I didn't think we were going to survive that humongous wave. Okay, so apparently we have to rebuild everything. And let me guess, again, we cannot pump, uh, pump out all buildings simultaneously. No, we have to do it for every single building. Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to... Uh, yeah, yeah, another... Wait! Hey! As my father used to say, ignorance is bliss. I'm happy to report that your dynasty member has returned victorious from his state education abroad. In addition to improving his skills, I'm happy to report that he has grown more resistant to the effects of intoxicated beverages. Yeah, still, this is the USSR attacking us, right? I am so furious. <sighs> now also a rebel attack. Great! <sighs> Seriously, if it continues like that with all the catastrophes, I'm going to break up the series because it is just annoying. It's happening way too often. Okay, there's a new quest. The Yankees will drown us in money, but we have to show a modicum of... Okay, all right. I mean, we have unlocked here also a few new edicts. Let's see what we can do here. Organic campaign stops all hydroponic and factory farms. All agricultural goods increase base price by over 20%. Why would I want that? I don't get it. But yeah, where's the urban development? Ah, here it is. Presidente, your actions are as shady as the shadow of a hundred foot orc of misdeeds that will be chopped down once communism prevails. Still, some good may yet come of them. Let us use the urban development you decrees to help tropicals you decreed to help tropicals homeless. I suggest ten uh Tenements, as they have proven to be the best type of housing. Now, we will go more for apartments. And so, we have to fight this invasion. Once more, that is just... Ah! Like seriously, why must this happen? Also, I'm pretty sure we are losing this invasion. George! We're coming for surrender and hey! Way too many enemy tank squads. Is that all? 
Though, to be fair, there's still a chance. I mean, we have here still so many turrets, so many towers. And at some point, all our units respawn. Riding on the winds of change. We will Is fight. that all you've got? All right. We will fight you in the streets and on the beaches. So actually, it is still possible to win, though it is super unlikely. Charge! By the way, how much money are we making by our apartments? A bit, not much, but a bit. Okay, how about we also increase the life quality here? Live to fight another day. Yeah, apparently we are winning the invasion. Is that all you got? Okay, that was unexpected. Live to fight another day. We will fight you in the streets and on the beaches. Okay. <sighs> So, we have a couple of overlays available, right? So, how's crime safety? Here is only okay-ish, here everything is good. Oh, come on! I was you... The game is slowly starting to really piss me off. Okay, so what else do you need? Do you need religion? Apparently, yes. Okay, actually a cathedral probably not to uh, be too shabby now, of course we will build it in our cultural district so and a TV station also make us more popular. So maybe we should also build a few more mansions. And I swear to god if another invasion is happen happening inside the next five minutes and I will rethink about finishing this project. Because at some point enough is enough. So how many homeless people do we have? Eight homeless families, twenty homeless people. I see. Okay, maybe we, we might need another high President, school. Your actions were so rash and dastardly that the militarists are proud to call you their leader. You know, things go in Tropico. They want you to keep on that course of action, so they offer you an appeasement gift. Well, okay, one free military building is actually quite nice for us. So, and let's see when stuff will be done. But yeah, we would definitely need another high school. Um, yeah, let's build that. So, 
And that way we get better quality people. Especially more people. That should decrease the amount of um, unemployed people that we have on our island. Also, I don't like that our approval rating is going down, but I guess once we have built the TV station and the cathedral, that should go up again. So, and here we will also produce more planks. So in one day we can actually start producing oil. Pharmaceutical company, yeah, does not tell me what it actually needs in order to produce. How inconvenient. I am so furious. Another rebel attack. Seriously, approval rating 66. Why is it happening? And I don't want to get all those people killed. I mean, in a true democracy, you also don't have that many issues. Comrade Presidente, I come with dire news. My environmentalist comrades uncovered a carefully woven imperialistic plan to bring about the extinction of the rare tropic and fur-bearing trout. There was a time when the shores were teeming with furry trouts and people lived in peaceful symbiosis with them. But have you seen one these days? It's all because of the existence of a mind. Destroy the foul invention of the irresponsible mankind and let the fur-bearing trout population take a revitalizing breath. <laughs> how about no? By the way, how is trade doing? Okay, we all ships are still... Power. Now, let's do something really stupid and see where it gets us. Starting an international incident is always fun and usually pays, but of course we may also do something totally outrageous. Proclaim we have a super weapon. Uh, how about no? The yeah, UN has incident. learned of our plans and has offered us a lot of money to demilitarize our country. We can bribe the UN inspectors so that we don't have to destroy any military buildings. So, bribe the UN officials to end the UN intervention. You will still receive money for military buildings already destroyed. The thing is, those towers here are um, actually quite, uh, quite cheap. So yeah, why not? That will give us some money. Also, I want to see the cost of a barracks. Ah, oh, no, it's for free. You cannot see the cost. <sighs> yeah, sure. Why would I want to see everything, hmm? Ah, game, you make me furious. It really is a shame because the game is actually good, but all these small UI issues. We can bribe the UN. So we have bribed them, and now we have way more money. So now we can build here new towers. And why can't I multi-build? Oh, now I could. So, and as I said, we saved a lot of money here. 
Oh, there are the rebels. Uh, apparently they destroyed an iron mine. Presidente, we discovered the best thing since... Probably the best thing ever. Yay, we unlocked sliced bread. We can build a supermarket. Okay, so now the housing quality of the mansions is increased, and yeah, we have a cathedral. They are not giving us money, but... This should make people a bit happier. No, we are at 63% for some reason. After a short squabble, the Caribbean famine... Okay, yeah, exporting 5,000 letter of gas is no issue. So does this give us any money? No, of course not. Hey, our approval rating has increased a bit, though not much. So, time to build another country hotel to solve that one quest. Really, I need to build country hotels on the beach? Oh, well then game, as you wish. And we will do it here. So, of course, the rebel invasion is still going on. So, and the airport shall be built here. And, of course, we need to get an oil refinery at some point. So, what else can we research? Oh, new achievement unlocked. I don't know what it does, but we will see. By the way, is the high school already finished? Of course not. Okay, then use quick build on it. Since we need better education. Presidente. Tropicans await elections next year. Yes, yes. Every citizen will vote for every citizen will vote for me. Of course they will. Because they love me. Okay then, here we will also use some quick build so that we get our profits Bloody earlier. Good job on this whole peace affair. Really brought tears to my eyes. Now, let's see how we can turn a profit on it. Peace is a splendid thing, but at the end of the day we have our own concerns and ambitions. In whose favor do we officially stand? Uh, the UN, of course. Because they give us money! By the way, right, we need a waste treatment plant. The question is, where was that? For fuck's sake, where is it? Entertainment and environment. Environment must be it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, what do we have here? We have here lumber mill. 
we will get rid of it, as well as of these two houses. So, in return, we will build another apartment. So that people can live. So, and here we can now build the waste treatment plant. But yeah, apparently pollution is quite an issue here. Unfortunately, it is not being shown f uh, visually. For example, in Anno 2070 here, or in many other games, for example, if you corrupt the land to black and white too, the land would simply go darker and so on, so that you have a visual indication that here stuff, or the smog with particle effects, it can actually be done quite easily. That is again something that the developers did not do, which would make communication between player and game way easier. I just noticed that I can have several banks. So, and we got a new quest. What does the quest a say? I didn't place a bet on this. These chaps actually look serious about this whole detente thing. Hi, officials attend to meet a Tropicon now. We should at least make they have a place to land at as those hotshots always travel by air. Okay, well, that is already under construction. So all these mansions here are now done and are generating profit for us. That's good. Also, how much energy are we producing? Total consumption, total power, so we have 150 available, have so it should work out. Influence the outcome of coming election. Yeah, yeah, we can win without cheating. By the way, how much money do we have on our Swiss bank account? 47%. Huh. Good to know. So the waste treatment plant will soon be done. And of course we won the elections. And hopefully with, uh, this will keep the rebels away. Rebel threat low. That is good. Also no invasion threat. That is good. So we may finally get some rest. I wonder what happens if we build like 1,000 banks. I mean, it doesn't cost money. Or, well, well, it does. But not that much. And if we get for each bank... Now, I don't think that the effects add, but it is actually worth finding out later. So... Here we have our waste treatment plant. Effectiveness is 100. This amazing facility that recycles waste into useful materials. Okay, that sentence doesn't make any sense. Some critics complain about the cost for the whole endeavor, but they will soon be recycled and turned once again into productive members of our society. Yeah, lowers pollution, but unfortunately, not enough. Or maybe it is an effect over time. Would actually be logical. So, power of the really hate us. It is bad luck to have one tornado on your island, but we have said. Oh, you gotta be shitting me! How many catastrophes do we actually need in this game? Three tornadoes, yay! Four!
I am not happy. The tornado outbreak is over. I have conducted a thorough investigation to detect. I'm definitely not happy. All these catastrophes. Just why? Okay, Mr. what President, quest do we get here? According to my calculations, yeah, we will why do that. Aren't we what do we get here? Exporting 7,500 oil should also not be an issue. Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis and we have to act fast. Rebel threat. Yay. Once again, who is surprised? Rebel threat high. Nine rabbits out of near I've out of over eight hundred people. The US government. They help us. Okay, so we can get another free oil refinery, yeah. Do we even want that? Yeah, I believe so. We want that. Oh, you gotta be shitting me! Yeah, that is the shitty road system. <sighs> Sorry guys, but I'm officially done with this game, with all these small design flaws. Oh, now I accidentally demolished the building. Yeah, great. Ooh. Fucking angry by now. As you have surely noticed. Okay, I have an idea I how we so can. Furious. Uh, rebel attack, of course. Well, maybe there will be another episode, maybe not. I'm. I don't know. Because, honestly, I don't want any more. Yeah, the game has so many small design flaws that all work into each other and make it a really bad gaming experience by now. I mean, gaming is supposed to make fun. To bring you joy, but I'm not really enjoying this. Yeah, whoever designed the road system, you can rot in hell. Okay, what did we get here? A trade offer has been completed. Yep, we have we have missing economy screens to tell us okay what is and everything. Uh, how much are we producing? How much are we consuming? The game simply doesn't tell us, so that we so actually working trade is simple guesswork because we don't know if we can actually supply a trade agreement a trade route properly. We simply don't know. And stuff like that, just... Ah! I have no words. Seriously, that may... Ah. I've already said it so often. So, for example, we can see here cloth. Okay, I can, I can export cloth to the USA. I see the price, I see the quantity, but I don't know how much am I producing Can I even support cloth? Yes, I can, because I have several texture mills. Or at least one. So, and why are you not producing? You are not going to tell me. I see. Ah. 
All these issues, and they are all unnecessary. Presidente, we have done nothing productive since our last research project. We. Okay. Good to have that technology, but I honestly don't even need it. So, and what else can we do? We can now build the supermarket, right? Mm, no question is, where is it here? On the welfare, right? Okay, then time to build a supermarket. So it actually makes me sad because as with Life is Feudal Forest Village, the game has so much potential. Okay, and on the contrary to Life is Feudal, this game here actually works. The system works, there's no ev uh, there's no bad simulation that produces uh, uh, that produces issues and so on. So in that case, uh, Tropical 5 definitely is way better. But it is not a very good game, simply because of UI issues. The mechanics work. They work perfectly fine, by, as far as I can see. Seriously, and why is here another far plantation? Alright, that was probably the rebel attack. So, but seriously, le just let a good UI designer get over this and review the entire game and make some proposals and the game could be so much better. So much more transparent, telling the player what uh, what actually his situation is. Reduce the guesswork. But unfortunately, no. So we will also get here a cheaper hotel. A hacienda. Okay, where can we actually build this? The profits from colonial buildings. Well, we don't have that many. And where we have them, there we have high pollution. I see. Well, then we make it that way. And of course, we will get another family resort. Because that increases our income. But again, whoever designed this road system can rot in hell. It tries to be so clever. Uh, another rebel attack again. Yay! Who is surprised? Who? Instead of making it a big event where actually something can happen. No. Hmm. Just no. And of course they are aiming for the mine. And we cannot really stop them. <sighs> so tiresome. So tiresome. I would definitely stay with Anno as my main focus. It's for far superior uh, city builder because they are... I always know... What is happening? How I can improve my situation? How much am I producing? How much am I consuming? And I know there's a lot of salt in this episode here right now. <laughs> so, if, you, uh, if uh, you find that annoying, then I'm really sorry. Just... Again, it just gets... It just doesn't let me enjoy this game properly. So, how about you build that one first, so that we have this quest done? Uh, 
seriously? The cathedral is full? And the churches? That is... Great giant tropical spider. That is not possible, actually. Because we have 877 people living on this island. We have here a church with 200 people. Here another one with 200. And here one with 200. So we have here capacity for 600 people. Here we get another 400. So we have already a capacity for 1000 people. And here another 100. We have a capacity for 1200 people. And most of them are nearly full. I don't think so. We have uh, over we have over 50% more capacity than it is actually needed. Oh, by the way, yeah, we should definitely get the machine gun so that we can defend ourselves. And we have more towers than ever before. Well, yeah, let them attack us. If they wish to. By the way, since we high school here is now done, do we have proper upgrades? Not really. Okay, so if now an attack comes, we are prepared! By the way, do we have any new military buildings that we might need? Not really. We could go for the supermax prison and arrest people, but I don't want that. It goes against my principles. I don't want to be an asshat. So, and the airport is nearly done. Good, we can then take a thumbnail. Oh, I see low quality textures. Ah, my eyes. Seriously, here it is actually very good. High resolution and then he, oh. Did the artist not think of a scale of a building? How could that I might happen? Have been just a touch off in my careful calculated predictions. Just why? Just why? Okay, it did not load. Okay, that is That Got is acceptable. A job on this whole piece. The new airport on our dear tropical has some fun. Left. I am so furious. Uh, another rebel attack again. Yay! Who is surprised again? So, let's make the airport better. Extra revenue, 800. Okay, that sounds good. Hey, Rebels, why are you attacking that one building when you have tanks right next to you? No, of course the building is being destroyed. <laughs> why are you not fighting? Why are you not shooting back? No, you are just Charge! run... Just running around and getting shot at. We're coming for you. You gotta be shitting me. So here apparently the combat system did not work properly. Well, that is the thing. If you use indirect systems, you need to ensure that they r work properly. Otherwise, the player will get frustrated. Therefore, direct control is usually better because then, if it fails, it's the fault of a player and not the fault of the game. Oh, and the pollution is actually going down here. That's nice. Comrade Presidente, I come with dire news. My Great no. Tropical spider. Uh, better rebel threat. Blah, 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 blah. That is just... Ah! Okay, so for tourism, Cabana villages, right? Uh, what do we get better? So service quality is increased for each entertainment building nearby. Service quality depends on beauty. Okay, so they don't even have to be standing on the beach. Okay. So, and it's soon time for a new thumbnail, I guess. It is already time, actually. This episode has definitely taken way too long. I don't know if the Yankees and the salt. Okay, what is the International Summit Edict? 
And you increase all foreign relations by 20 for five years. Okay, that should save us. Bloody good job. From invasions. Foreign dignitaries are coming to our shores. Remember, don't you dare pickpocket any of them, or you risk starting World War Three all by yourself. Oh, it is so much fun. It seems only reasonable we shall. Okay, getting rid of one of our buildings. Sure, we will use the cheapest one. And get the 30,000 for it. In the spirit. I might have been just a touch. So, and now, time to rebuild it. I guess that is not how the, ga uh, how the game was intended to work with that. So, and I believe we should now build another sewage treatment plant. Good thing money isn't much of a problem for us. So Oprah is working fine. We might need an additional cabaret. And how's the museum so doing? We have been uh, very happy. Of course, another rubble attack. Okay, so for luxury entertainment, we will now get here another cabaret. The casino is doing fine. We, though, we could need a another museum. I know that with all the stuff we are building here, we are actually decreasing the effectiveness of the country hotels. But that will work out. So, time to increase the casino efficiency. So, that should already do the trick. And, yes, I guess it's now thumbnail time. I was first thinking about going for the airport. But I believe we will go here with the tourism district. Yeah, since the game is becoming a tourism a tourism paradise. So, time to make a screenshot. Okay, so we are done for today. And yeah, I hope you can forgive me all the salt that was there today. I'm just really pissed off by stuff that is happening here. Again, I'm a UI designer myself. UI, UX, game designer, yeah, all that, a hybrid of all that. Um, therefore, I am super sensitive in regards of those issues. So yeah, again, I hope you can forgive me. I hope you still like this episode. If yes, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feedback, or anything you want me to talk about, then just type it down in the comments. And yeah, also I would be very happy if you give the subscribe button some love. And with that, I say goodbye and see you next time in Tropico and also soon in Spellforce 3. Bye bye.